Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are making a love potion in honor of Valentine's Day. We're gonna have fun with science. I forgot to show you one very important ingredient, Elka-Seltzer. So I've done some videos similar to this um, in the past and they're really fun. So sometimes you'll hear people refer to them as sensory bottles. So you need to have a clear container and this has a little bit of water in it because it was full of water. And this I'm just using to pour water. So we're going to fill this about halfway with plain water. You guys, I have missed you. I have been so sick. I got the flu and then as I was recovering from the flu, I got bronchitis. I lost my voice. I was sick for 16 days. And today is the first day that I have felt well enough or had enough of a voice to record. So I had all these fun ideas for Valentine's Day, for crafts and videos, and now Valentine's Day is right here. <laughs> I'm not going to have time to record them. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add some pink food coloring to the water. Okay. And this will be the beginning of our magical potion. That looks really neat, doesn't it? Now we'll mix it up. Well, that was pink food coloring, but it actually looks red, which is fine, that's fine. So next, we're going to add oil. And this is part of the science. So the oil and the water will not mix. So they'll do this really neat separation. The oil will probably go down into the water and then bubble up. But there's a second component of the science when we add the Alka-Seltzer tablets. So here we go. So now all of the oil has come to the surface and it's floating on top of the water. So this is already cool to me, you know, like it's relaxing to look at. When I was still teaching, I used these a lot in my classroom with kids. I would add toys, small toys and glitter and all kinds of fun things and, and for especially for really young kids it's really relaxing but it's relaxing for people of all ages it's neat to see so now we're going to do something else that's really cool so we're going to wait for the water and the oil to separate again and then i'll show you something else okay the something else is the elka seltzer and these have something in them that makes the water or whatever liquid that you add to them all bubbly. So I have one broken up and we're just gonna go and we're gonna add one little piece at a time and it's gonna be really neat. Okay, one tiny little piece going in. So the bubbles are happening down in the bottom. See all those little bubbles? Let's see if I can turn this around. There. Isn't that cool? Let's do another. It kind of looks like a lava lamp.
And I have one more little piece. Here we go. So now I'm gonna add the whole big one and see what happens. It's going crazy. Oh, there it is. It just popped up to the top. Cool. Also, guys, if you do decide that you want to try this, make sure that you ask an adult for help with the Alka-Seltzer because that is a medicine. It's not something for kids to use on their own. Okay guys, there you have it. I'm glad we got to do that together. That's the first time that I've ever done this little experiment. So I'm calling it our love potion because it's close to Valentine's Day, but you could definitely call it a lava lamp or a bubbly, fizzy <laughs> concoction, whatever name you come up with. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you soon. Bye!